You are listening to CKK 89.5 North Star FM Radio. Tatak K, radyo kaalamang pangmodular. Magaan na sa buhay, madali pa sa pag-aaral. Greetings of a fine day learners! Kumusta na kayo? Muli tayong nagbabalik sa inyong paboritong istasyon sa radyo. Ako si Teacher Mitch, ang inyong tagapagdaloy sa Science 6. Halina mga bata at muli tayong mag-aral! Yeah! Have you remembered our lesson about earthquake and volcanoes? Well, Earthquake is described as the trembling or shaking sensation on the ground caused by the movement of rocks, whereas volcanoes are elevated portions of land where magma and other pyroclastic materials go out during eruptions. These two are natural phenomena that can cause physical changes to planet Earth. Aside from that, both of these phenomena have different effects to the environment which can either be beneficial or harmful. As we moved on, we are going to talk about the safety precautions or the disaster preparedness before, during, and after earthquake and volcanic eruptions. Let's start with earthquake. We know that FIVOX or the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology is the government agency that is tasked to monitor seismic activities or volcanic activities in the Philippines. And take note, it issues some safety precautions before, during and after an earthquake. Let's talk about them one by one. Let's ponder on the things to do and remember before an earthquake actually happens. First. We should prepare our home, and how do we do it? Harmful chemicals should be properly kept to prevent spillage. Different things should be stored in an orderly manner, especially cabinets and shelves. And store water, foods, and emergency kits, among others. Another thing that you should do is to familiarize yourself with your school and workplace. Locate emergency exits, fire extinguishers, first aid kits, and the like. Another very important thing that you should do is that you should prepare an emergency plan. Dapat din na ipaalam sa bawat miyembro ng pamilya ang ginagawa mong pagpaplano. And remember, this thing is a must. Participate in the conduct of earthquake drill in school or in the workplace. Now, let's deal with the safety precautions to be done during an earthquake. First of all, you should stay calm. Once an earthquake strikes, you should not panic. Another thing is, if you are in the building, avoid using the elevator or the stairs because they can be the first part of the building to be damaged during an earthquake. Another thing to do is to move away from the doorway. Next thing that you should remember, especially if you are in an open area, is to move away from power lines, posts, trees, walls, etc. Tandaan natin, kids, kailangan nating protektahan ang ating mga sarili mula sa mga bagay na maaari tayong malaglagan. Kung tayo naman ay nasa sasakyan, dapat tayong bumaba rito at tumigil sa ligtas na lugar. Another very important reminder which you should not forget if you are inside a theater, mall or church is to avoid stampede. If you see people running outside, do not run with them. Now, if you find yourself in the coastal area, be vigilant and run to higher grounds because tsunami may occur and if you are on the higher grounds which can be a mountain or a steep place, move away from it because landslides may occur. Let's move now discussing the things to do after an earthquake. Heto na, tapos na ang lindol. The first thing to do is to check yourself and others for injuries. 
Wear shoes for protection because you might step on broken glasses. Check water, electrical, or gas lines for they might incur damages. And of course, kung makakakita ng mga nalaglag na kawad ng kuryente, huwag na huwag itong hahawakan. Next, do not use vehicles unless there is an emergency. Brace yourself for any aftershocks. And lastly, be aware of tsunami. Ngayon mga bata, huwag na huwag kalilimutan ng mga bagay na ating pinag-usapan. Ngayon naman, pag-usapan natin ang mga bagay na ating gagawin before, during, and after a volcanic eruption. A volcano actually shows signs of an impending eruption. That's why we can prepare ourselves for it. Before a volcano erupts, we should always be aware of any unusual volcanic activity such as tremors, gas emissions, and rising temperature within the vicinity of the volcano. Another is to stay tuned over the radio and follow warning instructions from the authority. Preparing a mask to wear is also a must. And now, when a volcano is already erupting, these are what you should do. First, stay indoors. Then you should wear the mask that you prepared. Yan ay para hindi ka makalanghap ng mga nakalalasong hangin. Another important thing is that you should keep the foods and water covered to avoid contamination. Next thing is you should stay away from low-lying areas because rocks, lava, and mud flows will likely flow down. Stay in the evacuation area as much as possible. And lastly, you should follow important instructions from authorities to avoid any harm. Now, let's move on the safety precautions after an earthquake. First, wait for instructions from authorities when to return home if you are in an evacuation area. Huwag na huwag silang pangunahan at huwag gagawa ng sariling desisyon upang hindi mapahama. Then if you see that lahar is flowing under a bridge, you should avoid crossing it. Next, is you have to remove ashes which were deposited on the roof and around your place. Then you should cover your nose with damp cloth for health purposes. Another important thing that you should do is to check if your drinking water is safe and not contaminated. And last but not the least, check if the electric wirings at home is intact or safe. These are all kids. I know that you are already well informed. Come on, let's start answering the activity that we have. Listen attentively as I read the following items. Write C if the statement is correct and W if it is wrong. Number 1. My neighbors and family discussed the emergency plan in our barangay. Number 2. Edward runs to the nearest big tree during the earthquake. Number 3. The people inside the mall ran all together to the exit when they felt the shaking. Number 4. The Gonzaga family prepared a fire extinguisher, first aid kits, alarm, and non-perishable supplies in proper places upon knowing the possibility of an earthquake. And number 5. Mr. Almonte checked the electrical and water connections of his house after the shaking. Let us now check your answers. Number one, C. Number two, W. Number three, W. Number four, C. And number five, C. If you got four or five, congratulations for you have passed the test. If you got zero to three, better luck next time. Bye for now, kids. I am hoping to be with you again next week. Same time, same station.
Okay.